Hello and welcome to another edition of Small World USA. I'm here in Cleveland, Ohio. Sports Center is on hand. This is game number seven of the World Series. And this is at Progressive Field. Take your shots. I'll take mine. So they're promoting the, uh, the Cavaliers here. Come out of nowhere. That must be the, uh, the new Nike slogan. Oh, there's some blues. Gotta love this. So it's a party night no matter what day of the week it is. They have a little like 4th Street here and here um, an underground kind of place. So they got a piano and I could have schooled some people on that but I held off. But a nice picture in the background. Kind of like the Prohibition era when drinking was not allowed. But yeah, game on, and what a historic game. Unbelievable. This was a lot of fun to be sure. This is a happy district in uh, Cleveland. They really have it going on. They have a place here where you can do the bowling thing. And get your Cleveland gear. A pleasant evening for Game 7 here. Usually it gets a little chilly, these parts. But uh, no, this was uh, a great evening. All right, the arcade. Now, I couldn't get in. There was a police presence it's next to the chocolate bar, which is a cool bar. But um, the arcade was closed. What a great building inside, though. You have to check that out. <laughs> Yeah, I think he called me out there. But yeah, I had a dollar. 
Jeez, I'm not that cheap. Okay, bowling and billiards. So they had the TV screens. Yeah, it was a big night to be sure, but Cleveland, Chicago, this was like a 80, 90 tollway series here. But they're Brown fans first and foremost. <laughs> that is their passion. Even though the Browns are 0-10, they're lousy, but they love their football. And uh, Indians, I'm surprised they should have promoted them a little bit more. Okay, that's the end of the tape. Okay, let me turn this down. Press stop. I knew that was going to come up quick. Okay, I got to switch tapes. We've been through this before. Okay. Second one is in. It's down. Okay, I, all I have to do is press play. And... Okay, good. Bikes, you can do that. UH bikes, I don't know what that stands for, but that seems like a nice thing to do in the city. The city club building, nice architecture downtown in Cleveland. And in years past, yeah, we had we had fun with uh, you know Cleveland being the mistake by the lake. Um, because the uh, Cuyahoga River, you know, that lit on fire and so forth. But uh, Cleveland's got it going on. And in fact, I was talking with some people in Cleveland. And uh, Dan Gilbert is a big player in Cleveland, just as much as he is in uh, Detroit. Here, Tribland. Talking the talk. They believe but uh, the downtown area, I'm on uh, Euclid, and so I, and Bob Hope, and you can't deny him. I'll give him all the street cred. <laughs> he was a great performer. Um, they have their theater district nearby, and they did have a blimp. You got to figure for a World Series, they're going to have at least one blimp. So, police presence and the the horses here were Indian fans. They had the uh, the baseball hats going on there, and I I like architecture. So forgive me for showing uh, the buildings here, but uh, urban planning it's. It's done throughout the land. And uh, so you watch what other people do and you say, hey, maybe we can do some of this in Detroit. Here, well, another bar. I had to step in to see how things were going. Looks like a play at the plate. Safe. look good but I held off I just kind of stepped inside here Chicago up three to one and Cleveland State University here dual skateboarding like ah they're in love that's the way it should be done though right Engage and yeah, they're doing all that with the heart. All right, well, I'm swinging around and you see the bright lights. That's Progressive Field. They have a Salvation Army here. Parking, 50 bucks. Get real. Yeah, I'll walk a country mile, and I actually did. Uh, after the game is over, I walked back to the car, and I the, uh, there was an impending storm. And so I got soaking wet. Progressive field, there it is. 
And we have to be progressive in our society. Things move forward, we continue on, we learn from the past, we get better. But uh, I, I almost feel we've regressed a little bit. We we're a little too conservative. It's a, it's a pro versus con kind of thing going on here. And uh, I hate to say it, but I think we've gone a little bit backwards. Okay, decorative iron grating. And with the uh, the Cubs, they brought this out this year, that W thing. That was, I guess, go for the win, go for the big W. And uh, they came out in force. Uh, apparently, the Indian season ticket holders were allowed like eight tickets for the postseason or whatnot. And so if they wanted to use two, they could sell the, the rest of their tickets. Well, apparently they found a market with, with people in Chicago that were willing to pay upwards of 1,000 to 1,500 and on up for a ticket. And uh, they were saying darn well 50% of the uh, the attendance here at Progressive Field uh, were Cub fans. But, uh, interesting. Well, let's listen. against the world. Like Cleveland knows how to party. I mean, a lot of flack may be given to Cleveland about having the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, but yeah, they know how to party. And uh, <laughs> I'll give them a little street cred. I mean, they're in Ohio, granted. It, that's a negative right there, but Cleveland's still not so bad. Good scene out here. Uh, Walking Lizard Tavern. Yeah, that 
was kind of crazy. Uh, two runs scored on a wild pitch, but yeah. There's room for improvement to be sure, but uh, Cleveland, I actually, I was impressed. I'm going to probably make a return visit. Uh, Dan Gilbert is all over Cleveland as much as he is all over Detroit. There's a lot of opportunity. And, uh, okay, here we go. 63 degrees. This was mild weather. This was just incredible. Okay, to the Ontario. I wanted, uh, I was getting hungry, but I thought later on I, I did one of those Long Islands. There we go. But I got one of those uh, sandwiches. Holiday baked ham, 775. And they were really cool because I ordered it and then there was a long delay and I said, hey, you got that order? And they said, oh, man, we forgot about it. So, uh, and then it looked like there was going to be a fight out there, but everybody was kind of watching. <laughs> the, the cops were on it. <laughs> hey, how about that ham sandwich? But I do get it. And they gave it to me half price. They were real cool. I didn't even ask for that. They were they were nice. So I'll go back there. Maybe I'll check it out when the Lions play the, the Browns. Look at this. Holy Toledo. What's going on here?
Holy crap, didn't he used to play for the Tigers? I don't think he did. Wow, we. This game is unreal. It's one for the books, as they say. Uh, <laughs> certainly something to remember. Gosh darn, to be sure. And uh, both teams were due. Uh, the Cubs over a century. The Indians almost 50 years. Yeah, it was like something had to give. Well, and then Cleveland, wow, their basketball team pulled it off earlier in the year. And it started raining, so there was a rain delay for a short spell. And who knew what was going to transpire at this point, but yeah. The horses were for Cleveland. It was C versus C, but uh, we'll have to wait here. A little, little delay. is like the public square here but it's into the next day here November 3rd it's past the midnight hour the city center and it changes colors I'm not sure how often look Chicago took the lead seven to six in the uh, top of the tenth, so we're in extra innings. Bases are loaded. This this was a crazy game, and some people fell asleep because it went on. But, wow. <laughs> 
so we have one more bag. Six and the base is still loaded. Cubs win. Cubs win. Jeez. Not since 1908. Well, they were due. How about it? And uh, both teams probably will uh, be up for a rematch next year. Uh, both great teams, to be sure. And Cleveland didn't have their number two and number three starting pitchers. I don't know how they even get that far with with missing that but uh congratulations certainly to chicago they got the w wow and it was fun yeah i didn't have a ticket but you could still get the palpable uh excitement from outside
Chicago got the W in game seven. That is all important. God, what a great night for them to be sure. But uh, well played game. Cleveland rocks. Yeah, here at Progressive Field. As a society, we should be progressive. Cleveland Tower City. Now, there's an area down below that's like the flats. And I'm going to take this bridge. I parked a country mile away. But look, Cleveland has mass transit. And uh, utilized. And we need this. And we voted it down, the transit proposal in uh, Wayne County, unfortunately. Well, it was four counties. Wayne County voted for it, along with Washtenaw. But unfortunately, Oakland and Macomb County dropped the ball. But they have it in Cleveland. We just can't figure it out here in the Motor City. It's not all about cars. I'm, I'm into the car scene and all that, but yeah, mass transit, that's good for everybody. They have artwork here as I cross the bridge. This was nice. And um, then it started raining. This wasn't so nice. I was like a wet hen by the time this was all through. But uh, yeah, here we go. All right, I made it back to the car, and then I took a little snooze, and then got up at a rest area, got a Starbucks, and headed for home. And I took a couple days off work to recuperate, but this is going through Toledo. They have a nice bridge across here. And then back to pure Michigan, no doubt. Now I'm safe. Okay. Think you're gonna like this. Actually, I know you like it. All right. So stick around. 
little traffic issue here on November 4th, but we're going to check out some of the graffiti action here in the Eastern Market neighborhood. This, if you want to have some good stick to your ribs food, go where the alligator is. You know what's nice is um, they've encouraged graffiti or artists to present murals in the Eastern Market area, and um, it's been a good deal all around. People enjoy looking at the artwork, and it makes uh, opportunities for people to say, hey, Hey, maybe, you know, we can do something here. It invites opportunity. Because there's still abandonment uh, and room for improvement. A lot of buildings still not being totally utilized. But here, Eastern Market, certainly uh, the need for people to eat is is a good deal. And they've done a good job of promoting what's happening out here at Eastern Market. On this particular evening, they had a rally. It was for Hillary Clinton and her run for the presidency. So the news crews were out here in full force. Um, the market, its big day is on Saturday. And then I think they hit, try to do something on Wednesdays. I could be wrong. But uh, it could be an all-day thing. Or an all-week thing if they wanted to. Now, while well, they have a Sunday street market. There's their website, if you caught that. EasternMarket.com And, well, because of the political rally, there was a police presence. And uh, so, yeah, there were some people with those earphones and whatnot. Here's a, a Trump supporter. He's got to be tickled pink. We're stronger together with Trump. 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 Let's make America great again. We're stronger together with Trump. Let's make America great again. We're stronger together with Trump. We're stronger together with Trump. in the market. And, I, oh, there's my evil twin. <laughs> but, yeah, he got his wish, that Trump supporter there. Unbelievable. It was crazy. Everybody was proved wrong. And uh, so you can't believe anything that the media tells you because they totally had it wrong. But... Um, We'll see what happens. I'm all for the working class, uh, middle class, working poor, whatnot. The, um, the lower portion of the pyramid. If I become filthy rich, maybe I'll change my tune and I'll support uh, Donald Trump and uh, his cronies, but... Um, I'm not that wealthy right now so I, I can't throw my support that way but here uh, they were promoting the business there 
<laughs> Here he goes again. God, he's got to be happy. All right, from France. I think really artwork is a is a good way of certainly expressing a little optimism, <laughs> or you know, like hey, we can do something here. That uh, there's possibilities. You say okay, here's a building. Let's make something happen. It brings attention. It's just the starting point. There's a process, certainly, and it takes a while. Okay, here I saw some motorcycles going by, so it's like, okay, the motorcade is just beginning. This is, they do this for all of them. So it's like, okay. market certainly has redeveloped and that's a great deal uh, continue with that but they had surveillance to be sure they were keeping an eye on things and pretty soon we might catch a glimpse of Hillary going by it was kind of like a little slick willy type let's see if we can catch this I kind of thought maybe I caught a glimpse, but I think I kind of missed it. But, yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Oh. It's almost nice, though, that this prolonged election season is over. But, Lord, wow. Takes forever. All right. Well, this is the aftermath of the event and this is a neat little thing the shed three they kind of made this kind of a, a neat little venue and uh, walk fashion had an event here earlier in the year and then they had another one later this fall uh, but it's kind of a neat little venue to host events and so uh, Hillary had, you see the press hall here. It was sold out, so the, the, to get a ticket, I was too late to actually get inside. But this is the aftermath. This was the, the stage. I actually got a little closer here. I saw a Trump rally in Detroit earlier in the fall uh, but I wasn't able to get inside the church but here you see uh, back when Obama was in town I got a couple after he had events I got a couple uh, presidential napkins <laughs> it's crazy it says president of the United States but it's a little thing for uh, it's a little napkin. I'm going to hang on to those. But, uh, well, it didn't turn out too well for the, uh, the Democrats, unfortunately. 
um, the progressives uh, lost out on this deal. Conservatives want make <laughs> pro versus con, but um, anyways, yeah, going through the thing here, this is the way you would have walked through. They would have introduced you here with this microphone. You would have gone through the black curtain. And voila, here you would have been. Woo! Hello, Detroit! Ah, uh, but you know. Oh, there's my evil twin. The, my evil twin, despite all his faults, though, he still loves Detroit. And I do, too. So... We're, we're both on board with that one. And um, that's, that's the way I got to look at things. I'm depressed. I'm upset. But I tell you what. I'm a Detroit fan, so we're going to do the Detroit thing and hope for the best. And, you know, wish us well. And if, if, if it don't work out, well, it's not for lack of trying. Well, uh, this was a, a bar that recently opened. Well, they had, I think, food, but they didn't have the liquor license. Now they have the liquor license, so... Um, the Butcher's Inn or whatnot. So there's a few establishments that make it fun, actually, um, in Eastern Market to shop, get your fresh produce and whatnot, but then to, uh, to chill out. Here, uh, this uh, three-way vehicle, freeway, and uh, he's parked there. But the graffiti is well done. And the people that are doing this, they, they give them street cred or whatnot for the way they're going about this. Because it's not just scribble. It's decent artwork, to be sure. Okay, well, Friday Night Football. This is the... Um, what is it now? The 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 third week of the playoffs. Gross Point Santa Claus. Okay. Well, maybe it's the second one. God, what am I? Here we got Gross Point South against Gross Point North. Awesome, but I was sloppy with it, and I got it all over my um, sweatshirt, the sauce. Yeah, I don't know what I did. It's just a sloppy pig face. Ooh. Gross Point South against Gross Point North.
Oh, this is old money here, Gross Point. New money is in Birmingham.
Thomas and Henry Herman, and under the direction of Mr. Chris Takis. Thank you. 